This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so... I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, it's pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. Once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of hooahs in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive, I'll cover us. Fuck, if that little prick gets away. Damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing. 
nothing. You didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't... I don't... Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpetbagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus! He was worried you knew about the casino! And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there! He wants to go legit! Turn... This city into Las Vegas! Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting a cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become... You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's see if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's oh, right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. 
keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so we can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. You cook. My ma's bucatini recipe. I, know, I thought I'd give it a try. She back in Empire Bay? No, she, uh, she passed a while ago. You got any folks back there? Take a look at that paper. Some city councilman's up for re-election. I need a favor. Who is he? You tied up with Marcano? This fuck. Him and his pals killed a friend of mine. Look, he'd see me coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, because I'm so inconspicuous. You know how to get to people. It's taken me 12 years and a lot of money to find this cocksucker. I'd make it worth your while. And I'd consider it a personal favor. I'll think about it. If you're having trouble finding him, look for somebody on the street might be willing to give him up. When you're done, come back here. We got a lot more names need to be X'd out. I handled the last of that problem for you. Oh. Shit. So it's really fucking over. God damn it. You all right? Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh... Means Joe's really dead. Good friend of mine. It's more like family. Me and him tried to do something big for this motherfucker named Leo Galante. Big shot with the commission. Anyways, it all went south, then we got fucked. That's what you get for following orders, right? It was a couple of years that I didn't know if Joe was alive or what. When did you know? Maybe four or five years after I got sent down here. I still had a little pull back home. I kept some feelers out. I mean, word comes back, one of the guys I saw drive off with Joe's running his mouth. Can't hold his liquor. And someone heard him going on about some loudmouth Leo wanted him to put down. Yeah, that same loudmouth cost this guy his front teeth and cracked one of his eye sockets. Sounds like Joe didn't make it easy for him. You're goddamn right. Ain't no one taking Joe Barbaro down without a fight. <sighs> Joe managed to get loose. I was on the run for a while, went to Chicago, thinking a couple of guys up there would help him. Instead, they turned on him. Anyways, in the end, it went how it went. Beat the shit out of him, cut his fucking hands off. Smashed his face all to hell. When it was over, they didn't leave much for anybody to find. You sure it was Joe? If it wasn't him. If Joe was still alive, he would have found me by now. this harder than it needs to be, Vito. Damn thing's empty anyway. Uh, I'd always thought you'd be different from those other cocksuckers. That fat Derek Papalotto, Alberto Clemente, Leo Galante, but no. Always somebody waiting to fuck me. Nobody forced you to get greedy. You could have sat back, been content, watched the money roll in. But nah, that wasn't enough for you. Fuck you. I gave up everything for this life. Everything. Look where I ended up. I deserve better. Fuck you!
Lincoln vanished, Vito Scaletta took over the city. I spit on Sal Marcano's grape one last time by actually doing what Marcano couldn't, finishing the casino. Now, two years later, Scaletta opened another casino, and then it was just an avalanche of development. Hotels, um, arenas, the new convention center. I mean, today, everyone knows this place as the Las Vegas of the South, but the whole damn thing was built on bodies Lincoln Clay left behind with blood money he and his lieutenants stole from the mob. And Vito? He still lives in that penthouse at the top of Marcano's casino, looking out over the city he owns.